guys, welcome back. For today's video, I have a first impression review and demo on the new drugstore foundation. So today I have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation with Vitamins and SPF 20. I have this one in the shade 732 Nude Beige. Just right off the bat, I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's beautiful, very simple. It's like a nice glass packaging and it comes with a pump. So, so far, packaging is an A plus in my book. I picked this up at Walmart. It was $10 and there weren't that many shades in store, but I'm going to go online because I'm pretty sure they have more shades and it also depends obviously on your drugstore so just kind of keep a lookout for that so okay there are a total of 14 shades I'm on CoverGirl's website right now and just some of the claims about the foundation it says discover healthy looking skin bottled new vitalist healthy elixir foundation is infused with vitamins E B3 B5 plus SPF 20 for correction protection and perfection all in one this full coverage foundation makes skin glow with a healthy look from the inside out so that sounds like my kind of foundation. I really love the CoverGirl 3-in-1, so I have kind of high hopes for this foundation. I'm hoping it's going to be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have no face makeup on. If you watch my videos, you know I always do my eyes and my brows first. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. And really quick, can we just talk about my shirt? Like, yes. It's so cute. I got it from Forever 21. So let's hop on into the video. I'm hoping this color matches me. If it doesn't, I'm just going to try my best to make it work. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Beauty Sponge, which is the pink one, which is my favorite. This is like the best thing for applying foundation. If you don't want to get the Beauty Blender, it's a great alternative. So I don't know how much I'm going to pump out. I'm going to do two full pumps, which is about that much. And we're just going to try and make it work. I guess I'm going to apply one side um, with my sponge and the other side with a brush just because I know some people prefer the brush and some people prefer the sponge. <laughs> I prefer the sponge personally, but this smells like soap. It smells good, but that's weird. It smells like straight up hand soap. Hmm. I think the color it does match me really good because I do have color on me right now. I feel like this is very like medium coverage. Um, I think it's very decent medium coverage. Okay, so so far this is foundation, no foundation. I feel like it gives my skin a really nice, really good medium coverage. Evens everything out, but it still looks like my skin, which I really like so far. Blended out really easily and I actually, even though it smells like soap, I actually really like the way it smells so far. I'm going to be using this flat angled brush. This is from RC Cosmetics. I'll leave a link to it down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side of my face. Probably going to use another pump. I'm trying my best to like work with the lighting. I am using natural lighting today. It's just so you guys can really see everything. So no studio lights. I literally am filming in front of my window. So Okay, it blends really nice. I always feel like the foundation always looks lighter when I apply it with a brush versus with my beauty blender. It's weird. I definitely actually think this is full coverage, more with the brush than with the sponge for sure. Wow, I think it looks really good. Definitely more coverage on one side, this side than the other. I'm going to kind of blend everything out with this though, just to kind of make it look even. So with the brush, with my beauty sponge. Again, I'm using natural lighting. Hmm, that's interesting. I really like the way that it looks. Like I think it looks really good. I like the coverage. I like how light it feels on my skin. Like it still looks like my skin. Thumbs up in my book. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and see how everything applies over top and then I'll be right back. Okay, so makeup is on. If you guys are interested in this look, I'll leave everything that I use, like lashes, lip products and stuff, down below in the description box. So I just wanna really quickly mention, I did set my face with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Just a little light dusting of it just because the foundation, it didn't feel completely matte. The finish is definitely more of a natural finish on the skin. So it wasn't like super dewy and it wasn't matte. It was kind of just like in the middle. A little bit tacky, so I felt like I needed to set it. I did not use a primer, did not use a setting spray. As you saw and I also always forget to mention this in my first impression videos but I have combo skin so my t-zone is really oily and then the rest of my face tends to be normal to dry at times so yeah right now it is approximately 1 p.m. 
I'm going to actually go get my nails done because these nails are hot mess so I'm hoping that they're not super busy but I'm gonna get my nails done run around a little bit and then I'll do a check-in in a couple hours and I'll let you guys know how the foundation is wearing and what my thoughts are but so far I'm really liking it I think it looks awesome I love the coverage love the finish of it and I like how the other products that I put over top like just glided on my skin like I had no issues blending and I don't know I know the color might look a little bit off maybe I don't really know but in person I think it looks really good and so far I'm loving it so I'll see you guys in a few hours for a check-in hey guys I'm back so as you can tell by my appearance it is later on in the day so right now it is 8 41 p.m. so I've had the foundation on for almost eight hours at this point and this is what it's looking like so my foundation I think honestly it looks really good like I have not touched it up at all throughout the day but I did notice around 4 30 ish which is like three and a half hours into me wearing the foundation that I did start to get oily on my forehead but honestly that's like the main oil spot on my face everything else on my face obviously it's really dewy because I used a lot of highlighter but on my forehead that's like the main oil spot on my face and that tends to happen with a lot of foundations that I use if I don't use a primer if I don't use a setting spray just in general I feel like that happens so it's not really a big deal I don't have any blotting sheets on me so I'm just gonna use some good old toilet paper just to blot so we can see how the foundation looks like after blotting and touching up so like I said my forehead is the main oil spot so we're just gonna blot that area a little bit on my chin as well but it's mainly my forehead Ugh, it's disgusting so then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of my wet n wild powder and I'm gonna use this Royal and Lang nickel brush and I'm just gonna kind of touch up a little bit on my t-zone that's like the main area on my face where I feel like really needs it Honestly, I really love this foundation so far. I feel like it looks beautiful. And a really good thing about the foundation that I'm really impressed with is the fact that it stayed on my nose because I have really bad allergies. I'm always like itching my nose, sneezing, like blowing my nose, things like that. So the foundation is still on my nose. The only thing is around the edges of my nose, it did cake up a little bit and um, it looks a little bit like settled into my lines around my nose. But again, that happens with a lot of my foundations if I don't use primer. Typically setting spray also helps with that a lot and I didn't use that today, so that is why that looks like that. But other than that, I absolutely love this foundation. I think it's beautiful. Definitely a full coverage foundation with a brush and I would say a medium to buildable coverage with a beauty blender or sponge. The finish for me is definitely more of a natural finish. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte, it's just like right in the middle. I do think this foundation will be great for different skin types just because it didn't like make me excessively oily like on my cheeks or anything like that just basically my forehead and it didn't cling to any dry areas that I do have on my face it just feels really comfortable I love how it still looks like your skin I do definitely agree 100% with the claims of the foundation like it says it's gonna make you look healthy from within but you're still gonna get really great coverage and I truly believe that that is the case with this foundation I think it looks beautiful with a brush or with the sponge, I think it's just personal preference on what you want. But overall, I give this foundation a thumbs up. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I think honestly, it's gonna wear even better if I use a primer and a setting spray, which I typically always do. So I'm gonna keep using it and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on it. Overall, I think the price point is great. The packaging is amazing and it's definitely worth trying in my opinion. So let me know down below if you guys have tried this foundation. Hopefully this video was helpful for some of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a few days in my next video. Bye.